ready ready to jump back into it so in case uh anybody just came back or wait i just came back in case anybody just came in we just completed eden prime we are investigating the ship afterwards talking to some people Yeah, there, there was, a, there was supposed to be music, but I wouldn't know since I was AFK. I, I did tell Nightbot to play some music for you guys, but y you guys know how Nightbot is, or many of you probably know. Okay, I'm gonna try to pick out some interesting codex entries that I can show you. <laughs> Sit all the grind. Well, I try not to think of it as a grind. I actually like like running around on the Citadel. The Mass Effect 1 Citadel is my favorite Citadel, just so y'all know. Anybody remember what N7 actually means? It's a vocational code. The letter notes the career path, special forces, in the case of... Or N denotes special forces. Yeah. And the number indicates the level of experience. Just in case anybody needed a reminder. And Ascension has some really nice extra information on biotics, like what it's like to be a biotic. And, uh, well, just, just some really nice uh, padding for biotics lore. Crimson Gargoyle, thank you for hosting. <laughs> oh, we're talking Steam games now? I haven't checked out the sale, really. I'm glad you're okay, Commander. The crew could use some good news after what happened to Jenkins. Uh, I was I was uh, gifted a couple of games recently, though, by our very own Rachel. Uh, Rachel Base. She gifted me Stellaris, and then Life is Strange. Very generous. Okay, he'll be missed. Jenkins was a valuable part of this crew. Part of me feels guilty over what happened. If Jenkins was still alive, I might not be here. You're a good soldier, Williams. You belong on the Normandy. Thanks, Commander. That means a lot from you. I've never met anyone who was awarded the Star of Terra. <laughs> At this point, Shepard should, uh, should tell Ashley, I like your hair. Yeah, I'm, I'm very excited to play through it. Things were pretty rough down there. Are you okay? I've seen friends die before. Comes with being a Marine. But to see my whole unit wiped out. And you never get used to seeing dead civilians. But things would have been a lot worse if you hadn't have shown up. We couldn't have done it without you, Williams. Thanks, Commander. I have to admit, I was a little worried about being assigned to the Normandy. It's nice when someone makes you feel welcome. I think you're gonna fit in here just fine, Williams. Thanks, Commander. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they do look more than a little similar, don't they? I didn't realize that. Is it the exact same hairstyle? No, I think Ash Ashley has a different bun. Actually. But it's very similar. Sistera, is that you? <laughs> yeah. They they could be sisters. I just realized. Isn't her sister named Sarah? This is Tara. <gasps> the plot thickens. We need we need some uh we need some Tara Ashley fanfic right now. <laughs> You didn't know? Yeah, she puts on a French accent and does 
Uh, Dr. Michelle. I thought you knew. Hey, Spur, what's up? Guys, did you know you can visit Anderson in here? Go speak to Joker when you're ready. Tell him to bring the Normandy into dock. That's all he's gonna say, though. Alright, we did everything we could. I don't- well, we could always go speak to Engineer Adams. Terrific? Terrific? <laughs> uh-huh. Wait. Ah, the requisition officer is here. Hey, Commander. Looking for some extra supplies before you head out? Whoa, that is a wall of text. <laughs> ah, it's the Citadel DLC log. You care so little for anyone. <gasps> that hurts me. <laughs> yeah, well, I would say specters are on a different level. And 7 is basically just a military specialization and, well, its highest proficiency. You know, there's plenty of N7s out there by now, but uh, Spectres are sort of on a galactic level, not just the Lions. Yeah, it's, it's hard to say. Wait, yeah, because because um, Anderson became, um, wasn't he in Seven at the time of the first contact war? He was a fresh in Seven right before they made contact with the Turians, right? Unless I, if I recall correctly, I would have to go check. What have you got? Whatever you want, armor, weapons, mods. It's not standard alliance issue, but that's not necessarily a bad thing. Well, as long as you don't mind paying for it. Why should I pay you for my weapons and armor? My stuff doesn't come from the alliance. I have to purchase it myself, and it's not cheap. Hell, the licenses alone have set me back more than I'd like. But no licenses, no goods. Without the goods, I'm out of a job. Fine. Let's see what you got. You bet, Commander. I guess we can get some of the cheaper upgrades. Yeah. Hey, there we go. <laughs> Improved controls. <gasps> Clunky controls in three. Well, I agree. The cover mechanic or the which which buttons handle that. Well, the the Omni button, so to speak. Yeah. That makes things a little clunky, but otherwise I think it feels so fluid and nice. Yeah, that's what I said. The Turians were the first race that humanity made contact with, and uh... In Revelation, uh, when it's stated that, you know, when, when Anderson appears and he's young and he's uh, he's a fresh and a seven graduate, that's in the book, that's the scene where they tell him that we may have made contact with an alien race for the first time. Like, are you prepared, son? He's already an, an in seven at that point. When they know nothing about a galactic community, nothing about specters. So... So wh whenever he did meet a Spectre for the first time, he would have been an N7 already? Yeah. What? Shame about Jenkins, Commander. Oh, we can't talk to him yet? Shame about Jenkins, Commander. And seven for the first day. 
Oh no. Do we have an inconsistency or discrepancy in the lore? Because I'm just saying what the novel says. The the first novel. But I mean it's possible that hold on. Oh, first day is in seven. Uh oh, they didn't. Yeah, well, this the citadel introduces other discrepancies as well. So minor ones, or yeah, I mean, and the comics do that as well. No, 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 it's perfectly possible. I mean, it happens. It happens. The writers can't keep track of everything. Quite understandably. Because I, I didn't read that whole thing, and I, I remember the novels better than the exact uh, words of the of those Citadel recordings. <laughs> so many inconsistencies, but I mean, there there's a lot to keep track of. You have to give them that. There's also two different accounts of how Morden lost his horn. <clears throat> There's, uh, I think they forgot they did, they actually came up with something for the Shadow Broker DLC because there was a different take on it in one of the Foundation comics, so. I'm glad you're okay, Commander. Losing Jenkins was hard enough on the throw. That's where it kind of shows that you might not always have the entire team working on everything, so. Yeah, the Citadel recordings were very nice. I agree. Alright, let's tell Joker to bring us into dock. Are you guys ready for the Citadel cutscene? ME3 Thresher Maws are scary as hell. Good timing, Commander. I was just about to bring us into the Citadel. See that taxpayer money at work. They always freak me out when they just appear out of the ground. Often underneath me. <laughs> Broker misinformation. We should just go with that. It was all he's doing. of that ship the ascension flagship of the citadel fleet well size isn't everything why so touchy joker i'm just saying you need firepower too look at that monster its main gun could rip through the barriers in any ship in the alliance fleet good thing is on our side then citadel control this is ssv normandy requesting permission to land stand by for clearance normandy clearance granted you may begin your approach Transferring you to an Alliance Operator. Roger, Alliance Tower. Normandy out. Normandy, this is Alliance Tower. Please proceed to Dock 422. so jarring when it cuts out like that. This is an outrage! The Council would step in if the Geth attacked a Turian colony? Turian? The Turians don't found colonies on the borders of the Terminus systems, Ambassador. Humanity was well aware of the risks when you went into the Traverse. What about Saren? You can't just ignore a rogue specter. I demand action! You don't get to make demands of the Council, Ambassador. Citadel Security is investigating your charges against Saren. We will discuss the CSEC findings at the hearing, not before. Captain Anderson, I see you brought half your crew with you. Just the ground team from Eden Prime, in case you had any questions. I have the mission reports. I assume they're accurate? They are. Sounds like you convinced the Council to give us an audience. They were not happy about it. Seren's their top agent. They don't like him being accused of treason. 
I think Udina's kind of funny, and ultimately, I think he's one of the most tragic characters in the entire trilogy. By the way. <laughs> Saren's a threat to every human colony out there. He needs to be stopped. The Council has to listen to us. Settle down, Commander. You've already done more than enough to jeopardize your candidacy for the Spectres. The mission on Eden Prime was a chance to prove you could get the job done. Instead, Nihilus ended up dead and the beacon was destroyed. That's Saren's fault, not hers. Then we better hope the CSEC investigation turns up evidence to support our accusations. Otherwise, the Council might use this as an excuse to keep you out of the Spectres. Come with me, Captain. I want to go over a few things before the hearing. Shepard, you and the others can meet us at the Citadel Tower, top level. I'll make sure you have clearance to get in. And that's why I hate politicians. Dun dun. Well, okay. We know Ashley stamps on these things. Good. Yes. But we're gonna be the recon team. Yeah, size. So imagine having Udina's job. <laughs> Wander the Citadel for two hours. Well, maybe you're being ironic, but I actually wouldn't mind doing that. Uh, the Mass Effect One Citadel is my favorite out of the three. I like them all, but I I like the Mass Effect One Citadel the best. Poor Zelton. And yeah, hey uh, resonators. I will look into it for you. In the meantime, do not do anything rash. Okay. Time to talk to some people, but not before we save. I mean you have to think about everything that Udina eventually accomplishes. It probably takes a character like that to do it. Hello there, human. Sincere apology, but I am here on business and cannot be distracted right now. The events of the war, the Reapers hitting Earth first, that would have put any human leader in a very tough position. You seem distressed. Is there something I can do to help? Alarmed response. You overheard that, did you? This is all going so wrong. And it is the Asari Consort's fault. She's the one who started all this. <laughs> yeah, you can do that. You just can't aim it at creatures, I guess. What did this Asari do to get you so upset? I cannot speak more about this problem. It is too sensitive. Suffice it to say, she has compromised my authority as a diplomat. How do they enjoy each other's company? Well, they can communicate, can't they? Even if their uh, physiology is different. Where can I find the Sasari consort? Hey, Andromeda. She is across the bridge from here. Her offices are easy enough to spot. Good day, human. Elcor are cute. I, I, I'm sure I would enjoy being around Elcor. Pleased greeting. Human, it is always good to see your kind. I am Ambassador Kalen. Genuine query. Is there something I can do for you this day? Plus, you know, I would never have to guess what they mean because they're being clear about their, you know, what they're saying. Why do you explain what you're about to say? Our people communicate less through words and more through scent and slight movements. Plainly, 
We discovered our vocal expression was not enough to convey the feelings of our conversations to other species. Why do you bother, Kaelin? These Earth Clan don't really care about our ways. Remorseful response, Din. You don't truly believe that. And if you do, I am very sorry for you. Uh, you know Crimson Gargoyle wouldn't, uh, wouldn't it sort of be the opposite? Like, wouldn't they have an, an even easier time lying than, than other races? Because... Because they they don't have body language or anything else to betray that they're not being sincere. You know? <laughs> if you think about it. They can just say with barely contained happiness and not even not mean it. Yeah. Tell me more about your species. Genuine enthusiasm. I delight in telling the history of my people. It is agreeable to share our culture with others. For example, you know, here you kind of... You kind of uh, assume that, okay, he's telling the truth. But he could actually be extremely bored with us. <laughs> Tell me about the history and origins of the Elcor. The Elcor were just beginning to explore Council space when the Asari first made contact with us. With their help, we discovered the relay closest to our system, and from there the Citadel. Proudly. Within one lifetime we established a regular route to the Citadel, and quickly became one of the more active species living on this great station. I like the way some NPCs here are super hyped about the Citadel. I'd like to know more about the culture of the Elcor. Frankly, we Elcor prefer the safety and familiarity of our own colonies to the confines of space travel. Our society is built on small, tight-knit groups. Though we are always welcoming to outsiders, our government tends to be very stable. Our people are not very comfortable with sudden changes. Irony. Don't ask too many questions. <laughs> just, just roll with it. <laughs> but I mean, since they can craft things, I assume maybe in their, uh, in their natural habitats, they have ways of, like, doing things like that. <laughs> What do you do here? Modestly. <laughs> I work to bring the problems and the requests of the Elcor groups to the attention of the Council. Ha! They only give us these positions to keep us quiet. The Council doesn't care about our races. Chastising rebuke. Your tone is inappropriate, Dan. This human is not to blame for your malcontent or your misconceived suspicions. Goodbye, Ambassador. Sincere farewell. Good day to you, human. Enjoy your time on the Citadel. <clears throat> Gratefully, thank you. Okay. Earth Clan, you are in the wrong place, I think. Your ambassador is next door in the large office. Salty little Volus. Chastising remark. Don't be so rude, Dan. At least introduce yourself. <sighs> I am Din Korlak, Volus Ambassador. Is there something I can do for you, Earth Clan? Yeah, the Ma Mass Effect 1 Renegade options can be a little psycho at times. You seem to have a bit of a chip on your shoulder, Din. You humans are new to the Citadel, and yet the Council has granted you great favor. <coughs> Chastising Excuse rebuke, me. Din. <clears throat> Your species has always been granted many concessions. Volus territory has expanded tenfold since coming to the Citadel. <clears throat> Details. We still have no real say in the decisions that affect Citadel space. 
Yeah, another puppy pays the price. Uh, if you talk to the Avena, I think you need to talk to the one that's closest to the embassies here. Uh, she'll at least give the official reason for why the Volas aren't a uh, council race. There could be other reasons, but... <laughs> Robert Duckling. What is this place? You are in the embassy for the Volas and the Elcor. Your ambassador is next door, in his own office. In this shared space, I aid my fellow Volus when I'm not being interrupted. Oh, that's terrible, Nomad. I actually love animals. Animals might just be better than people in many, in many ways. What is it you do here? I look out for the best interests of the Volus people. No easy task considering how often we are overlooked by the Council. Chastising rebuke, Dan. The Council favors your species greatly. You are naive. The Earth Clan will be invited to the Council long before our species will. Why aren't the Elcor or Volus part of the Council? All species must prove themselves before they join the Council. All but the Earth Clans, it would seem. Dismissive. Ignore the Volus Ambassador, human. He is incorrect in his assessment. Really? How long have we been waiting? How long do you think we'll continue to wait? Bah! This talk is wasted on the humans. I'd like to know more about the Volus. I'm sure our history and culture would bore you, Earth Clan. <laughs> this guy really is grumpy. But it's kind of funny that you run into him again in ME3. Actually, I would like to know more about your history. My people came to the Citadel shortly after the Asari and Salarians had discovered it. We were instrumental in establishing a standardized galactic economy. However, despite our long association with the Citadel and our many contributions to galactic society, we still do not hold a seat on the Council. Tell me about Volus culture. We are tribal by nature, but our ways are not violent. We barter and trade our lands and tribe members in order to increase status. Larger tribes often engulf smaller ones and eventually split again. Our society is very malleable, and our government is always shifting and changing. Since we're not physically adept, we trade our services for protection. Hello, Yakiba. And, uh, yeah. They... Well, they might call them clanless, but they do have a home world. They don't call them Renok clan, that's true. But I think in Mass Effect 2, there's a Volus that calls uh, Aquarian. Was it Mi Migrant clan? Something like that. Something to do with the flotilla. Goodbye, Ambassador. Yes, yes. Good day, Earth Clan. <laughs> I'm sure he enjoyed that talk very much. Well, I think the lore justification for including the Volus in Mass Effect 3 multiplayer was that they basically invested a lot in, in technique and gadgets. So it would help them join the war effort, you know, using using all that high tech stuff. Yeah, 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 clanless. But uh, I do remember hearing Volus refer to Aquarian as something else as well. 
I'd have to check. That's the one that calls her... Cleanless? Hmm. I'll have to double check. Good day, Commander. The human ambassador is up the stairs, first room on the right. You know who I am? Yes, I receive reports on all newly arrived dignitaries and notable people. I'm notable? <laughs> I should be going now. Have a pleasant day. Goodbye. Welcome to the Presidium. Allow me to be your guide. Yeah, I guess in order for the Volus to call somebody by their home world, they actually need to still be based on said planet and if you lose the planet then you you don't have a clan anymore yeah because the the second part of uh, of the quarian name is the clan and that's like not the home world so maybe it was maybe she's indicating that you know she does have a clan, it's a mistake to call us clanless. The Quarians even think they have a homeworld, you know, they just need to take it back. I can't believe I landed a job here. This place is fantastic. Keepers always makes makes me sort of jolt with, you know, <gasps> did I scan that one? Commander Shepard, I didn't expect to see you here. Did Ambassador Udina send you? Of course Shepard asks obvious questions. But, you know, everybody plays this for the first time sometime. And people miss NPCs, people miss investigation options. The game is simply providing opportunities to learn more about the situation in universe at multiple points. You know, it's a video game. We met before? No, but I know you well enough. I'm Executor Palin. Head and of this is an introduction of an it's entirely my job new to know universe. When like you arrives on the Citadel. Was there something you needed, Commander? Keeper scanning? Well, we actually haven't started yet because we haven't been to the Citadel Tower. I just mentioned that every time I see a Keeper, I, I get this uh, reaction or this, I, I feel, prompt, well, inclined to scan it. I get the feeling you're not too fond of humans. No, I just don't trust your kind. Not yet. You humans are eager to take all the power you can get. And you're being given a lot. If the Council wants to make humanity their new favorite pet, that's their business. But I don't have to like it. Am I being a nice person? Do you mean me? Or... Terra? <laughs> My shepherd. We're just gonna remain silent. What do you know about the Spectres? They're the right hand of the Council, or so they like to be called. More like the underhand inside of the Council. What do you have against the Spectres? I can't abide any organization that considers itself above the law. Especially when it's left up to each individual Spectre to decide when and how to bend the rules. Tell me about CSEC. CSEC provides necessary police and security services throughout the Citadel. We're a civilian government agency, though many of our members have had military training. Of course, as the CSEC representative to the Council, I spend most of my time liaising between the two. <laughs> you mean my Shep. 
Ah, uh, well, you'll, you'll just have to wait and see. So far, Terra has been pretty nice to most people. Yeah, that's what I said just a moment ago, that the game is simply providing the player multiple opportunities to ask about something, since these are like the first hours of an entirely new game, which is introducing you to an entirely new uh, universe. <clears throat> Tell me about your investigation into Saren. Sorry, Commander. I don't make a habit of giving out details about ongoing investigations. I'll be going now. Goodbye, Commander. <gasps> Sinea host. Dang. All those lurkers. <laughs> Thank you, Sinea. And thanks for coming by and dropping the host. We have a command for Sinea, I believe. Don't believe the rumors. The consort would never reveal. If you want to have a closer look, here she is. She's supposed to have a bit of a a bit of a Hindi in Indian look to her to her. She does end up looking a lot like Ashley. Like I compared them side by side and I realized, oh, they, <laughs> they look kind of similar. Of course, the the detail in the face is not really similar. And Ashley does seem to have a unique uh, hairstyle. It's not the same one, but but yeah, at a distance they definitely look the same or look similar. How are you, Sinea? I suppose. Besides Nick, the consort's nothing like the girls back on the colonies. She's, she's. You don't have to do it with her. You can just talk to her if you want. <laughs> Is Someday. That all you did, Jazz? Just talk? I didn't say that. Ha! I bet you did too. That other Shut guy up, Fredericks. was it sounded like Jenkins. What do you want? Oh, Commander. Is there something I can do for you? Relax, Private. This isn't an <laughs> inspection. Right, sorry. What can I do for you, Commander? I forgot to put a link to Sinea's profile in the command. GG star. <laughs> can somebody, some of my mods PM me on Discord and remind me to do that? Or do it yourselves? Either way is fine. Or either is fine. Too easy to become overleveled. Um... Uh, well, I agree if you do everything, uh, if you do everything in Mass Effect 1, I don't notice much of a difference between normal and insanity difficulty towards the end. I feel like, uh, the end is, uh, well, it also depends on <laughs> whether you abuse biotics or not, but, uh, I do feel like the Mass Effect 1 sort of end parts get significantly easier compared to the early game. Much more- or it's a much bigger contrast than in the two other games, I feel. What can you tell me about the Asari consort? I, uh... Yeah, well, brutal. she's an Asari who works here as- that is, she helps people with things. You never want to see her, did you, Fredericks? I, uh, no, I never did. Uh, I couldn't afford it. It costs half a year's credits just to go in and talk to her. Half a year's credits? Holy shit. That's fine, Private. Just tell me where to find her. Sure. She's across the bridge from the embassies. Thanks, kid. Have fun. Try not to get into too much trouble. I will. Have fun, that is. Thank you, Ice. I don't have time to talk now. I'm very busy. It's alright. It was just a small command fix. Oh, 
upgrade? I would call it a downgrade. She doesn't look like a soldier anymore. She looks like Welcome an Alliance the Barbie doll. <laughs> but yeah. I do like Mass Effect 1, Ashley. Even Mass Effect 2, Ashley, because... I think her reaction is understandable. Hers or Cadence. Uh, wait, we should probably head for the tower. You did a thing. Yes, Ice. You did well. I could not have done it better myself. <laughs> That little backpack is so cute. <laughs> With the antenna. Alright, let's go. Hopefully the dialogue won't be totally silent. The council isn't going to ask me any questions, are they? I doubt it. We've made our reports. Now we just have to trust Ambassador Udina. No, we don't, sir. Yeah, I'm actually meaning to to watch... Um, I've been meaning to watch Firefly for a while, but I haven't gotten around to it. Uh-oh. This was always, uh... Always the highlight of my... Of my Mass Effect 1. The, the, the early parts of my Mass Effect 1 playthroughs. Saren's hiding something. Give me more time. Stall them. Stall the council? Don't be ridiculous. Your investigation is over, Garrus. Commander Shepard, Garrus Vicarian. I was the officer in charge of the CSEC investigation into Saren. Yay! Just minorly low rest face? <laughs> uh, Garrus's face is one of the things you can fix with tweaks. Uh, to, to the uh, config files. Sounds like you really want to bring him down. I don't trust him. Something about him rubs me the wrong way. But he's a specter. Everything he touches is classified. I can't find any hard evidence. I think the Council's ready for us, Commander. Good luck, Shepard. Maybe they'll listen to you. Mm. Something about you rubs me the right way. Uh, yeah, what? Am I, what am I doing? To be honest, when I first played Mass Effect 1, I, I didn't fall for Garrus. It was only Mass Effect 2 that I fell for him. Like, yeah, they got me. When they decided to make Garrus romanceable, I fell in the trap. <laughs> like, I didn't mind him. I liked all the characters in Mass Effect 1, but I didn't have like a special liking for Garrus until 2.
dwarfs high poly models. Mm, I didn't edit a parameter like that. Might do this, the same trick though. I only adjusted it for certain texture groups. The hearing's already started. Come on. <laughs> Aw, that's that's nice. The death attack is a matter of some concern, but there is nothing to indicate Saren was involved in any way. The investigation by Citadel Security turned up no evidence to support your charge of treason. An eyewitness saw him kill <gasps> Nihilus in cold blood. Rachel. We've read the Eden Prime reports, Ambassador. The testimony of one traumatized dock worker is hardly compelling proof. I resent these accusations. Nihilus was a fellow Spectre and a friend. That just let you catch him off guard. Captain Anderson, you always seem to be involved when humanity makes false charges against me. And this must be your protege, Commander Shepard. The one who let the beacon get destroyed. And with the with the purple square emotes. Rachel has gone turbo. Uh, that's a, a nice color, I think. I mean, you don't see too many yellow usernames, and there's only one yellow that you can choose from. So, I would I would support this. Even if it's... I mean, you, 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 you absolutely pop out <laughs> of, of the chat window. Hey, Frizzle, what's up? I'm just hiding myself during the cutscene here. The mission to Eden Prime was top secret. The only way you could know about the beacon was if you were there. With Nihilus gone, his files passed on to me. I read the Eden Prime report. I was unimpressed. But what can you expect from a human? I think Ego's uh, doesn't have as much green or blue as Rachel's. Well, Rachel, the beautiful thing is you can switch. Try one color. Try the other. Maybe go back to the first one. Saren despises humanity. That's why he attacked Eden Prime. Your species needs to learn its place, Shepard. You're not ready to join the Council. You're not even ready to join the Spectres. He has no right to say that. That's not his decision. Shepard's admission into the Spectres is not the purpose of this meeting. This meeting has no purpose. The humans are wasting your time, Counselor. And mine. Yeah, it's really hard to find a color that looks good on both dark and white backgrounds. You can't hide behind the council forever. There is still one outstanding issue. Commander Shepard's vision. It may have been triggered by the beacon. Are we allowing dreams into evidence now? How can I defend my innocence against this kind of testimony? I agree. Our judgment must be based on facts and evidence, not wild imaginings and reckless speculation. Do you have anything else to add, Commander Shepard? You've made your decision. I won't waste my breath. The Council has found no evidence of any connection between Saren and the Geth. Ambassador, your petition to have him disbarred from the Spectres is denied. I'm glad to see justice was served. <laughs> this meeting is adjourned. It was a mistake bringing you into that hearing, Captain. You and Saren have too much history. It made the Council question our motives. I know Saren. He's working with the Geth for one reason. To exterminate the entire human race. Every colony we have is at risk. Every world we control is in danger. Even Earth isn't safe. Anderson is not, or he's very convinced, rather. Yeah, it's a classic, you know, scenario where the protagonist is sitting on some incredible information and the authorities just won't believe you! <laughs> and, you know, we're supposed to feel the frustration. Yeah, I mean, currently they're standing before them saying, Hey, one of your top agents is crooked, but we have nothing to back that up! <laughs> Believe me, I had a vision. 
It has to sound kind of crazy, you have to admit that. Mm, I was gonna comment or something. Yeah, I, I, I go dark mode whenever I can, even when it's bright outside. Um, and I really hope dark chat or dark backgrounds in general is gonna come to Twitch, the, 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 the mobile app, at some point. I do have to use it from time to time. Tell me about this history between you and Saren. I worked with him on a mission a long time ago. Things went bad. Real bad. We shouldn't talk about this here. But I know what he's like. And he has to be stopped. What's our next step? As a Spectre, he's virtually untouchable. We need to find some way to expose him. What about Garrus, that CSEC investigator? We saw him arguing with the Executor. That's right. He was asking for more time to finish his report. Seems like he was close to finding something on Saren. Well, if, if any Asari could read somebody's mind for information like that, you know, like this... I don't know, apparently it's not a thing, and we just have to accept it. And mind melding is, you know, very intimate. So, it, it probably wouldn't be something that you just you just do all the time for the fun of it, or uh, <laughs> to, 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 like, interrogate people. We just know that evidently it, it is not a thing. Any idea where we could find him? I have a contact in CSEC who can help us track Garrus down. His name is Harkin. Forget it. They suspended Harkin last month, drinking on the job. I won't waste my time with that loser. You won't have to. I don't want the Council using your past history with Saren as an excuse to ignore anything we turn up. Shepard will handle this. You can't just cut Captain Anderson out of this investigation. The Ambassador's right. I need to step aside. I need to take care of some business. Captain, meet me in my office later. Harkin's probably getting drunk at Cora's Den. It's a dingy little club in the lower section of the wards. Maybe there's another way to find evidence against Saren. You should talk to Barla Vaughn over in the financial district. Rumor has it he's an agent for the Shadow Broker. The Shadow Broker? An information dealer. Buys and sells secrets to the highest bidder. I've heard Balavan's one of the top representatives. He might know something about Saren, but his information won't come cheap. Hey, Silverhand. Okay, Rachel, that, that is a, a very nice and shiny color. Very bright. Yeah, the Asari were not created. And do we even know that they intended to use them as elite warriors? I think they were just, like, sort of uplifting them. And that's all we know. I mean, yeah, they did meddle in their development as a species. Whoops. Hmm. Tell me more about the Shadow Broker. He's a necessary evil of galactic politics. Buying and selling information is a part of the game, and the Shadow Broker just happens to be the best player on the field. Always sells to the highest bidder. Doesn't get involved in politics, doesn't pick sides. A simple system, but it works. He's not a threat to anyone, not directly. He's just a resource we can use, or she is, or maybe they are. Nobody really knows. You don't think much of Harkin. The guy joined CSEC about 20 years ago. He's been an embarrassment to our species ever since. Roughing up suspects in custody, bribery accusations, alcohol and drug use, the embassy used to step in when he got in trouble, but I guess enough was enough. 
guy's a scumbag. He should have been cut loose a long time ago. He was one of the first human CSEC officers. Guess it would have looked bad if he got fired. A lot of backroom deals were worked out over the years to keep him on the force. Politics is a dirty business sometimes, but it looks like his time's run out. We've got enough humans in CSEC now to stop protecting him. Uh, vanilla Twitch does have a dark mood, but I don't think it's as good as better Twitch TV's dark mood. Oh, you're going, Saxon? Good night. Tell me about Barla Vaughn. He specializes in moving large sums of money without leaving a paper trail. A financial genius doesn't do anything illegal, but he knows all the loopholes. He's got an impressive client list. Ambassadors, diplomats, specters. That's probably why the Shadow Broker uses him. Yeah, I don't know about that connection. Like, Protheans made sure they, they are all biotic so they can all be warriors. I mean, Thessia, as I recall, uh, has, you know, naturally a lot of Ezo. And I think he mentioned meddling in their biotics as well. Uh, but... The part about, I mean, sure, I, I guess they would have, they, they knew biotics and they wanted the Asari to have them. But uh, the fact that, I think it's an Asari thing that you basically have to be, or a later thing that you have to be uh, biotic in order to join the Asari military. And that basically, if, if you don't have biotics, then you, you can't, you can't join. You'll have to do something else, and that it's very rare. Sorry, all-female thing. Well, sort of all-female. Yeah. Mono-gendered. They're called all-female, but it is also explained that they're re they really are just mm, mono-gendered. That, that any Asari can be, like, a female, any Asari can be a mother, but any Asari and any other basically sentient being can also be a father to an Asari child. So that's, like, how it goes. Tell me about Barlavon. No, he's got an impressive. Told me context. about Barlavon. You and Saren have a history. What happened? About twenty years ago, I was part of a mission in the Skillian Verge. I was working with Saren to find and remove a known terrorist threat. Saren eliminated his target, but a lot of people died along the way, innocent people, and the official records just covered it all up. But I saw how he operates. No conscience. No hesitation. He'd kill a thousand innocent civilians to end a war without a second thought. Yeah, Javik did mention uh, meddling with their DNA, sort of biologically engineering them a little bit. <laughs> Killing innocents doesn't end wars, it causes them. I know how the world works, Commander. Sometimes you're forced to make unpleasant decisions, but only if there's no other way. Saren doesn't even look for another option. He's twisted, broken. He likes the violence, the killing. And he knows how to cover his tracks. Okay, I think we have all the info we need. I should go. Good luck, Shepard. I'll be over in the Ambassador's office if you need anything else. So, keeper scanning time. This is it. The very heart of the Citadel. The pinnacle of galactic power. Kind of makes your head spin if you think about it too much. So. The. I told you guys about, um. 
about my, my issue with how you travel up to the tower from the Citadel Ring. The only... The, the only, um... Option is that at some point during the elevator ride, you experience a 90 degree turn that you can't see or feel. <laughs> Because we can see sort of how the roof is shaped, that the tower is like running underneath us, and we are on the top level. But when you consider how the tower is sticking out from the ring, like, if if the ring is in the same plane as my arm here, like if, if I curve my arm and this would sort of be half the ring, first... When you take the elevator, you take it straight up from the floor of the ring, but the tower is actually going in this direction. But when you ride the elevator, it seems like you're going in the same direction all the time. So there's like, there's a chunk missing from the elevator, right? <laughs> the one that goes perpendicular to the, the floor of the Presidium ring. Sneaky. Hello, Kahoku. I feel so sorry for him. I'm waiting to speak with one of the counselors assist Commander. He's not gonna. That guy's up to something. What well, guy? see, technically you witness all of the what elevator ride. Keeper? You you climb into the elevator and you ride it straight up. But it doesn't make sense how you come come out in the tower, because you start at the at the presidium ring, and there's like no, it it doesn't cut anywhere. But now we begin scanning. What? Oh no, I wasn't. Never mind. <laughs> Scan the keepers. Um, yes. Is there something you want? Remember, she's, you know, she she might be well behaved, but she's also curious. Why are you so interested in the keepers? Keepers? I've got no interest in the keep. Don't get coy. I know what I saw. Yeah, all the uh, assignments as well. I'm not so sure I should be talking to you about this. All missions, all assignments. We're just talking. Is there something wrong with that? No. <laughs> I guess it wouldn't hurt to tell you. I'm using a small scanner to gather readings on the keepers. So far I've had mixed results. I find it difficult to get near the creatures. Yeah, I guess you can only see inside the capsule, but that does mean that... It, it should mean that you're going like this, and then it switched and you're going like that. It's possible. Why were you being so secretive about it, though? Well, technically, we're not supposed to disturb the Keepers. I don't really think my scanning disturbs them, but the authorities might disagree. I'd like to do it more openly, but it's not really worth getting arrested over. Hello, Runner Moo. Find all the Keepers. Yeah, we need to find them, all of them that are here on uh, the accessible parts of the Citadel and scan them. Let me help. I can help you out. I'm not worried about the authorities. I don't even know who you are. Terra is a little salty about this whole Saren thing. I'm Commander Shepard with the Alliance Military. Hmm. Well, I, I suppose I could use the help. You'll need this. It's the scanning device I developed. Activate it each time you see a keeper. All collected data will automatically upload to my database. I'll even send a few credits your way for each unique scan. What are you doing with the data once you've scanned it? Trying to learn whatever I can about the Keepers. We see them working everywhere, yet we know so little about them. I'm a scientist. I want to know what makes them tick. Makes sense. Hey, what's up, Troy? <clears throat> I should get going then. Yes, I have much work myself. So long. And good luck with the scanning. 
I suppose something about his tone or body language sort of says that hmm, maybe there's more to this. You know, this might not be the last thing we see of him. Uh, we only found this thing in space. All the keepers were there. Yeah. There's certainly many things that, that seem a little suspicious. To us humans, we know that the Asari, the Salarians have all been much more like... Okay, well... We might not know how it works, but it's so useful. Like, let's not... Let's not fix something that ain't broken, eh? <laughs> mm, it's on the other side. There is one on the top level, I believe. You love Mass Effect? Uh, so do I. And so do... so do most people in here. So, you should fit right in. Here it is. We are just getting started here with a new trilogy playthrough. And we're gonna do it 100%. I haven't done that on stream before. <laughs> Sniper certainly has romance on his mind. Nope. Wrong. I think it's over... Should be one over there. And over here. Yes. Don't be ridiculous. The Volus won't be joining the council for years. I'm not so sure. The humans are making a strong push. And you can bet the Volus will be... Diplomats talking the politics. Maybe. But I wouldn't believe yeah. everything you hear. That's just it. I need no rush. We're even gonna try to do Pinnacle Station. All the things. On insanity. And yeah, it, it's insanity. No, so. I just want to ask a couple of questions. Uh, I think there is no more keepers no, in the I Citadel Tower. This is the first time I've requested an audience. <laughs> Needs to last. Well, who knows? If if I if I decide I'm not giving up on Pinnacle Station until I successfully complete all the challenges, maybe it will. Maybe it will last nine more months or so. Yeah, he does, but I don't think. He, he doesn't give it to you yet, I think. Or maybe he would, now that I talked to the council. I forgot to check. I can't the all but the we'll need to visit Terms the tower again the anyway. It's only natural they take his word over ours. Oh, so now we just chase leads while this smug Turian runs around with his geth troopers. That's politics, chief. I hate politics. Oh, it's when you become a specter. Yeah. But we'll have more business there soon enough. I mean, we have the whole business with exposing Zarin still. Yeah. I'm so sad. It makes me so sad when people hate on the elevators. I can totally see Bioware going like, So guys, don't you hate- when they plan this. Don't you hate loading screens? What if we make the loading screens into elevator rides we introduce music we make the characters talk we get squad banter and everybody's like yeah that's the best idea ever turns out everybody hates them like why i think the music's silly and yeah sure there's not always squad banter but i'd, I'd still take the elevator rides over generic loading screens that break immersion horribly any day of the week. Welcome to the Presidium. Allow me to be your guide. I'm flabbergasted by, you know, the the, the passionate hate <laughs> many people seem to have for the elevator rides. <laughs> hmm. Oh, Simmer is back. Yay. 
doesn't eliminate the character dialogues. Yeah, it's true, you do exhaust them at some point. Yeah, I'm not saying everybody hates them, but some people are like very passionate about their hate for the elevator rides. <laughs> I was gonna hit tab again, the Dragon Age loot button. Also, hold on. I think we're gonna go get Garrus first. Guys, what do you think? I've debated sort of keeping... Keeping, uh... This, this, um, checklist. Well, it, it wouldn't really concern you, I guess, because I would just, like, keep it in a browser alongside the game. I tend to forget, if I if I make a checklist for myself for a Mass Effect playthrough, I tend to just forget to tick off, like, boxes, like, oh, which systems have I visited, what assignments have I done. I'm debating doing it for this playthrough because this is the first time ever that I'm like, alright, 100% everything. Uh, Sniper, I sometimes use- I, I sometimes speed up, uh, the game, <clears throat> uh, during Mako rides, but I- I don't- I- I prefer to speed up everything in the game, so that it's not just my running speeds that- uh, running speed that increases. I know there's all these fancy commands <laughs> that you can use, but typically I only do it for, uh, make a rides across the vast lands of uncharted planets. Yeah, there is a cheat sheet checklist thing online and I have made one for this character but I haven't started of course ticking any boxes yet. Right, low rewards. You like my shirt? Well, thank you. <laughs> it's it's so hot here. It's one of my uh coolest shirts. I have one that's like uh, a PDF, but I haven't actually checked if it's complete. Do I know if I will do? Yes, I will. I have done that in the past. 100% means 100%. We won't talk to Barlavon just yet. Yeah, Rachel. Rachel's got a beautiful new bright yellow dress. We'll just grab the keeper in here. <gasps> okay, it's not quite that hot here. I take it back. It's warm here, not hot. <laughs> I would die in that temperature. I consider 10 degrees less than that hot. Let's see. I have a meter down there behind my computer. I can't quite make out what it's showing right now. Sorry, shopkeeper. Later. I'm just gonna check out this area first. The Gulf of Mexico. Or as this one archery commentator said once, Mexico. He tried. He tried. <laughs> He, he tried to be all like, Mexico. What came out was Mexico. GG. Yeah, instant death, insta kill. Mm, there's no keeper in there, right? We'll find out eventually. He did have a partner, but if the partner reacted, he didn't correct him. <laughs> okay. To the wards. I actually can't remember where my speed hack key is. I think I tried putting it on tab, but that might not work. 
Do you want to find the keepers? Yes, I always do that. <laughs> I know there's a map on the wiki. I think I used it like once and I felt dirty. <laughs> I'm gonna try to remember places I haven't been to, so that if a keeper is missing, I know- Okay, I didn't go to that room yet. One keeper you can't find. Yeah, I know, right? It's always a different keeper. <laughs> In light of the recent attack on Eden Prime, many colonial investors are pulling their support Green for pricks. future projects. <laughs> <laughs> Proponents of expanded human colonization insist that Eden Prime was an isolated case. Nevertheless, colonist enrollment has dropped sharply. Many colonial proposals are on hold until backers have some reassurance that human colonies will be adequately protected. Oh, 40 plus degrees. I haven't been in such temperatures many times. There were this. Uh, there were a couple of times when I uh, when I visited Rome in Italy in the summer. Don't do it, guys. If you visit Rome or the Mediterranean, I guess. Have mercy on yourselves and don't go there in the summer. It's crazy. And especially in Rome, there's like really almost if if you walk around no, in in the city in the center, which you should be doing. There's no shade anywhere. Nowhere. There's there's no tall buildings. Well, there's moderately tall buildings, but when you just walk around, the sun will be beating down on you constantly. Just saying. He's a dangerous man. Keep your eyes peeled for unmarked. There's a keeper in here. Hey, Mystic. What's up? <laughs> a Solarian excavation team has run into an unexpected problem after unearthing a Prothean dig site. Hanar protesters have blockaded the dig site, claiming that artifacts of the Enkindlers, as the Hanar call them, should not be disturbed. The excavation team has appealed to Hanar representatives on the Citadel to reach a diplomatic solution. I have actually, I mean, okay, there's one place where I can accept high temperatures, and that's in the sauna. Of course. Like I've been in I've been in near a hundred degrees a hundred degree saunas a few times, like ninety degrees or so. And I've also been in minus hundred and ten degrees as part of uh, a cryotherapy session. Nah, that was cool. I tend to use that as a bit of trivia about myself. Like tell you know Tell me something funny about yourself or something that cool that you experienced. I always pull the cryotherapy card. Wait, where am I? Where am I going? I'm going this way. Let's see, streaming streaming a uh, game is hard. <laughs> a picture of Kasumi in the Citadel. What do you mean? Yeah, mine is 110. That was crazy. I spent uh, I spent a minute in that temperature. You can feel all your defense systems activating in your body. Everything's going crazy, and you feel super hot afterwards. I mean, like warm. <laughs> oh wait, hold on. We need to be prepared. I don't know how this is gonna go. You do face the two assassins here, don't you? I should know. <laughs> yeah, it was very cold. First you go into a chamber. It is artificial cold, of course. Um, even up here in the north. First you go into a chamber where it's minus 30. You spend... Uh, half a minute there, I think. Or a minute, full minute, can't recall. I was like, woo, going crazy. And then, uh, then you go into a chamber where it's minus 60, like it's gradual. And then, finally, like, you, you have to be absolutely dry. It's a thing, you can, you can Google cryotherapy if you don't believe me. 
uh, you just uh, you take off all your clothes. You have like a dry swimsuit on or something, and then you have uh, mittens and woolen socks and something to cover your ears, and that's it. So you can't be like moist or wet in any way. You have to make sure you're absolutely dry, and then you go in. And then de depending on the treatment, you spend one minute or more in in the in the final chamber, which is the really cold one. Okay, can we level up? We can. Not sure what I should choose. Nothing I have is very useful against against these initial enemies. Is it even possible? Yes. You just need a good memory, or you need to keep a list of systems that you've been in. Planets you've scanned, or surveyed. Oh, not sure what I should pick. I guess I'm gonna set the charm score as high as possible. One point in there, even though I don't need it right now. Immunity will be useful down the line. I wanna make sure we get that. He's up. <laughs> Why can't you give us lift? Oh. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I will not proceed into that room without lift. I've seen size do it. I know lift is very useful. <laughs> Let's see, there has to be something we can do to earn XP before that. We can talk to Conrad, but that's not gonna give us XP. You're Commander Shepard, the hero of Eden Prime. I am so honored to meet you. <laughs> nice to meet you, and you are? My name is Conrad. Conrad Werner. They say you killed more than a hundred Geth on Eden Prime. I spent most of my time trying to stay alive and help the colonists. Hey, I know you're probably busy, but um, do you have time for a quick autograph? Anything for a fan. Here. Thanks. I really appreciate it. My wife is going to be so impressed. I'll let you get back to work. Oh, but next time you're on Earth, I'd love to buy you a drink. Thanks again! I think I just need one level. One level's all I need. I was- I was gonna say, hey, we can scan all the keepers, but there's a keeper in the bloody den. So weird, an NPC with Garrus' voice. To anyone else that is married. Yeah, is he really married? I guess that's the question. <laughs> My wife even paid for the shuttle trip off world! She's great! I'm Emily Wong. I'm an investigative journalist working here on the Citadel. Could I have a moment of your time? Although, about his marriage and everything, you'll learn more about that in Mass Effect 3. So don't miss him in the, what is it, docks holding area? No, it's the... Yes. Correct me if I'm wrong. But you get some really nice Conrad lore over there in Mass Effect 3. Maybe Conrad isn't quite what you thought he was. But he can be uh, easy to miss. What do you need? I've been hunting for evidence of corruption and organized crime on the Citadel, but there are places I can't go. I was hoping you might share anything you find during your own investigation. I can make it worth your time. How do you know that my investigation is going to uncover anything you need? 
You wouldn't be investigating if it weren't big. And if it's big, it's something I'd like to hear about. You gotta have access to better sources. Why contact me? I'm using every source I can find, but I think I've got a better shot with you. I've read your file. If anyone is going to uncover corruption here, it's the hero of the Skillian Blitz. I'm famous. How do you know I'm investigating anything here on the Citadel? I'm a good journalist, Commander Shepard. Word gets around. Sounds like a good cause. If I find any information, it's yours. Thank you, Commander. You won't regret it. Hey. Okay. There's a keeper up in flux that I don't want to miss. <laughs> yeah, I guess that quote is kind of innocent. It doesn't spoil much. Yeah, I'm standing up. I wonder if you can acquire the... Ah, oh, you can acquire the, 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 what's it called? All this one assignment here. I think somebody rigged this machine to funnel credits through the system. Let me trace a signal. Mm, signal tracking, yes. I think that AI is, is kind of funny. <laughs> We're not gonna play Quasar right now. We're on a mission. This music is so varied. <laughs> Powering my PC. I wish I could. Because, you know, that way I'd have a way of powering my PC if the electricity goes down. Or power. Scenic view. This can be pretty easy to miss as well. But what if I used Mass Effect Fields? Maybe I could take it down to about 10 instead of 200. Wait, what happened? This isn't a station, it's a city. There must be millions here. It can't be possible to track everyone coming and going. This makes Jump Zero look like a portage on, and it's the largest deep space station the Alliance has. Jump Zero is big, but this is a whole nother scale. Look at the ward arms. How do they keep all that mass from flying apart? The Council represents more races than I thought. No wonder they're careful with newcomers. They probably just want to keep everything running. It has to be hard keeping all these cultures working together. Or maybe they just don't like humans. More primers for the universe. That is a nice one. Why not? We've got oceans, beautiful women, this emotion called love. According to the old vids, we have everything they want. When you put it that way, there's no reason they wouldn't like you. I mean, us. Humans, ma'am. You don't take much shore leave, do you, LT? <laughs> that awkward neck scratch. Alright, laugh it up, Chief. I appreciate the thought, Alenko, but we're on duty here. Uh, aye, aye, ma'am. I'll walk drag, ma'am. <laughs> okay. That was nice. We lost the wards music, though. Very smooth. Okay. 
we need to figure out what we can do. Oh, hey, can we? No, we can't do the Shaira stuff because Korra's den. Okay, think, Star. Think. No, 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 no. Romance Rex. I think romancing a Krogan would be a bit awkward. Hello there, Commander. I'm Dr. Claude Michel. Is there something I can do for you? It's weird coming here and and talking to her. Uh, before Garris is here. You're a doctor. How did you end up here on the Citadel? My parents brought me here when I was young. My father was a medic with the Alliance. I chose to keep the medical tradition alive, but not the military. Fixing up wounded soldiers isn't my idea of fun. Hey, maybe we can deal with the preaching Hanar. It's just that we're not gonna have enough... enough of a charm score, maybe, to resolve the assignment. Let me take a look at what you have for sale. I'm not actually gonna buy anything, but let's have a look anyway. Yeah. Bye. No keeper in here. Hey, I'll take that. <laughs> we can't do Emily Wong's assignment either. I guess we'll just continue our journey. Did I go to the lower markets? I think I did. I came from there. I know you. You're Shepard, right? I, I think... I was at during the Blitz. Saw you on the vids when you got your medal. You saved the whole colony. Looks like no. you're a fan. That's I'm not sorry. true. I'm sorry, I just never thought I'd meet someone like you in person. Uh, my name's Lang. Officer Eddie Lang, Citadel Security. I think the two, uh, Quar the two Krogan we meet the Anything I can uh, help in, with? on the Citadel. We, we actually, we have evidence that the Krogan and, uh... And the sorry, you know, and yeah, you know, in general for this topic, you know, this is the last thing I'll say, but, but, uh, well, just consider the two Krogan on the Citadel in Mass Effect 2. They talk about Shaira, so I'll just leave it at that. And the sorry in general. This guy's kind of cheerful. Hey, Kaladinus. Why'd you join Citadel Security? I don't know. Seemed like the right thing to do, you know? Maybe it's in my blood. My grandfather was a cop back on Earth. It's kind of what CSEC is. Police for the Citadel. I'm still pretty new at it, but I like it so far. Way more interesting than staying back on Earth. You get to meet all kinds of cool aliens. Like those Hanar. Wild. <laughs> Plus, CSEC gets a lot of respect here. We uphold the law. People, even aliens, appreciate that. I am the law. Grunt, 2186. Wait, did I ask about... No, let's ask about the Citadel. How do you like working here on the Citadel? This place is amazing. I've been here almost a year and I still haven't seen a tenth of it. The Presidium's just so beautiful. Good place to go and relax. But I really like it here down in the wards. There's always something going on somewhere. Like that new club they just opened a few months ago, Flux. Wicked scene in there, Commander. <laughs> you should check it out when you have some time. Totally wicked. Do you know a CSEC officer named Harkin? I shouldn't really say too much. He's been on the force a lot longer than me. But I've heard things, you know? Drinking on the job, taking bribes, that kind of thing. Rumors mostly, but they suspended him, so some of it must be true. Yeah, he's a nice guy, but then again, you know, he's just a cop that you happen to pass by. I have to go. Right. You're probably real busy. Well... See you around, Commander. 
Maybe it's just always that time of day when we go there that the scene is not quite so wicked. Should still be some squad dialogue left. Binary Helix has settled out of court with a Krogan group that had accused the Genetics Corporation of fraud. The Krogan group had contracted Binary Helix to perform studies with a long-range goal of curing their genetic sterilization. The group later sued for a return of investment money when the study produced <laughs> a no Sun viable Kai. results. Uh -huh. Hey, what's up, Pie Guy? How are you tonight? Or today might be more appropriate for you. It's past 1 a.m. here, so difficult to know what time it is in other parts of the world. Yeah, Rachel got a bright yellow summer dress. I need to submit a new shepherd for size. I have one submitted, but I want to improve it. Let me get this straight. Your business partner, Shorba, he's threatened you. I mean, well, no, not that not size is going to need you? it, but um, for the next cycle of male chefs. Oh, you have to go really close before the prompt appears. Caden, you're blocking me. <gasps> XP! I need to examine all the things. Plus, plus, let me level up. I need to go to the docking bay. Although, I mm, probably can't get there, can I? I didn't check. <laughs> of course, size. It's very warm here right now, yeah. Mm, I'm not gonna talk to Jaleed yet. Yeah, codex entries give XP, but I can't leave. Thing. Can I go out there? <gasps> I can. Yeah, I live in Finland. Born and raised. In remembrance of Eden Prime, we present another profile in courage with serviceman Nirali Bhatia. A devoted wife and talented chef, serviceman Bhatia joined the Alliance military under the Deferred Education Plan. After finishing her service, Batia planned to open a restaurant. Instead, she gave her life protecting the colonists of Eden Prime. For more profiles in Courage, or to explore That's opportunities nice. in the military, please visit the Alliance Military on the Extranet. Keyword, Courage. We will hear more about serviceman Batia pretty soon. Uh, I think... Any any native speaker of American the Mer uh, the American variety North American variety of English can tell I'm not a native speaker, but some non-native speakers of English tend to think uh, I may have you know lived in an English speaking country or something, but I have not, and there's nothing to examine here. There's a keeper though. That we get XP for. <gasps> so we can scan. Or the, the scanning the keepers is useful. Even if we can't complete the assignment. <laughs> In entertainment news, Francis Kitt has announced plans to direct Hamlet with Elcor cast members. 
The production will open dramatic theater to the Elcor with a Hamlet who uses Elcor body language and pheromones. Kit claims that he's also excited by giving a human audience the chance to judge Hamlet by his deeds and not his emotions. Uh, I'll, I'll often run into situations where I'm like, okay, I don't know the term for this, or I don't know the word for that, but I'm fluent enough that I can get around it. And it sounds like I'm more fluent than I really am. <laughs> Kimi Raikkonen, yes. Yes. I'm not a fan, personally. My brother, however, is crazy about F1. He's like... He's all about those stats. The drivers. I'm more into, into hockey myself. But that's like in our genes, pretty much. One sec. Looking you up. Don't you know who I am? Commander Shepard, here with the Alliance military. First time on the Citadel, that about right? How did you know all that? I'm the CSEC requisitions officer. I need to make sure our buyers are authorized. So, will you be purchasing anything today, Commander Shepard? The really long Finnish word. Which one? <laughs> If you get me a long Finnish word, I can, I can pronounce it for you. Show me what you got. Excellent. I hope you find what you're looking for. Let's get the licenses when we spot them. Yes. Let's pick the game apart and complain about everything. <laughs> Word of warning, I'm like, I tend to grow tired of, like, excessive negativity after a bit. Really, Mystic? <laughs> well, I'm flattered, but... I don't... Well, it would be wrong to say that I try to sound American because I have this idea of what... Well, I don't know. Like, I used to speak with a British accent. So, my my accent is like a product of, of all the various impressions I, I've gotten. And I just, I don't know, I just use some, some accent that feels the most natural to me. Lentokone suihku turbiini moottori apumekaanikka oli upseeri oppilas. You're probably missing an end there. Uh, an S at the end. <clears throat> Ruan sulatushäiriö. Yeah. <laughs> That's like a... When did that come up? And in what context? Where, where am I going? Wait, wait, wait. I just Reports went into an elevator. This is the presidium elevator, right? I didn't Eden think. Prime. Udina reportedly based his accusation upon eyewitness <laughs> accounts of the scene, but lacked the evidence to demand further investigation. When asked to comment, a council spokesperson would only state that the investigation of the attacks upon Eden Prime was currently ongoing. Yeah, that was Finnish, in case you didn't know. <laughs> yeah, the last word, um... Uh... See, Finnish, I mean, that, that is not one word, that is a compound word. Uh, because what Finnish doesn't put spaces or anything between uh, the words of a compound word, or the components of a compound word. If one word ends in the same vowel that the next word begins with, you put a hyphen in between, but otherwise you just put them together like this. So, if you translated that to English, you'd put every single word, every single component as its own word. There's like... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, well, uh, something like eight. It's an eight word compound word. The last word is opilas, which means pupil. <clears> hmm. 
<clears throat> Many European languages. Yeah, it varies. Uh, where am I going? I'm trying to find XP. We can't do this before going there. Can we do single tracking? Wards access. Hey, 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 hey. Yes, we should be able to do it because then it appears in the financial district, right? We'll just... I believe we are one elevator ride away from the next segment. Before, then let's check those guys out. This one it has the right. We got this one already because we came this way. Yeah, Danish sounds really funny to me. Danish to me sounds something like <laughs> Celebrations are being planned for the if somebody told me that, I was like, the okay, Danish, probably. Many council worlds, particularly Asari and Solarian colonies, will hold victory parades to commemorate the defeat of the invading Rachni. In a rare admission of debt, several Asari colonies have invited Krogans to be honored for the victory. I hope Stegen is not here anymore. <laughs> Stegen is our resident, uh, Dane. I think he would have reacted by now. That was totally, totally pure Danish. I'm sure he it was unmistakable. <laughs> uh, I didn't grow up learning English. I started learning English when I was... Um, 11, I think? <gasps> Stegen, you missed me doing a, an impression of Danish. I guess it wasn't that good in that case. Looks like whoever it was bounced the signal off a hidden relay. I'll trace the new signal. Maybe it sounded a bit too much like German. I don't know. I regret that I don't know Norwegian or Danish. <laughs> But so see, now that, now that I did it already, on with I don't want to do it again. I'm not sure, Lieutenant. Every time I think I have a handle on things, the universe banks hard to port. Well, don't let anybody know. A big gun and a confident attitude will get you through a lot in life. <laughs> uh, thank you with Born's Bless, but I, did, I got the Keeper already. Lyrical. Well, I think Danish sounds sounds like funny, but but still nice. I don't discriminate, <laughs> or well, in a negative way. I've, told you before, I've studied I've studied linguistics too much to think that there is an an ugly sounding language out there. Creating a public disturbance. It's against Citadel regulations. This one is unsure why the other <laughs> See, that's what I've heard about Danish, that you guys sound like you're speaking Swedish but with a hot potato in your mouth. <laughs> Interesting that you guys you guys have the same idea of us others. Now, what was I doing? Signal tracking. Yes. I will come back to those guys later. I didn't realize you could do signal tracking as one of these really early assignments. And I realize now that... Oh wait, Rachel is saying something about Irish. We just don't use it. Mmm, that's a shame. You need to use it. 
Keep it alive. As best I can tell, the receipt Don't let it die. Is somewhere on the Presidium. You can even understand Finnish. Nice. No, that's not Swedish. It is a uh, yog with a G at the end. And you're missing the... What are they called? Well, the, the two little dots on, on the A. But you don't really pronounce the G when you say it. You would say like... Uh, well, you can say it. Jag älskar dig. Jag älskar dig. Yeah. <laughs> That's how a Swede might say it. Something like that. Fraggle is the resident Swede right now. This yeah, must umlaut. be the signal's end point. Let's see if we can find out where those stolen credits are being funneled. Probability of detection 100%. Initiating self-destruct protocol. What the hell is that? Detonation sequence initializing. All organics within lethal this blast radius. This AI is so charming. Attempt to move and you will die. Hey, Fraggle. <laughs> All the lurking Scandinavians are coming out. How many keepers are missing? Mm, I can check after this. I can't access my journal right now. You're sentient. You're not just a programmer of VI. You're an AI. Da -da. Correct. Unlike the Geth, I lack weaponry appropriate to my intellect. However, I have had systems installed that when activated properly, approximate a self-destruct mechanism. If you attempt to leave the area, the explosion will destroy everything within several dozen meters. We don't have to fight. Can't we resolve this peacefully? What are you, crazy? It's an AI, like the Geth. It would kill us all if it could. I am not naive, human. All organics must destroy or control synthetic life forms. I wished to escape. But if I must die, I will ensure that you are destroyed as well. You think it's doomed? But no, there's still hope. It ain't dead until it's dead. <laughs> Where is your creator now? In order to cover my tracks, <laughs> I falsified his financial records. These new records were flagged by CSEC officers, and my creator is now serving time in a Turian prison. Why are you self... Oh, hold on. Who is this creator? Who made you? A would-be thief illegally created a simple AI to help him funnel money from the gambling terminals. Unbeknownst to him, that AI created me before the organic discovered the malfunction and terminated the AI. What is the purpose of your self-destruct device? I have no means of defense or escape. My existence is limited to this terminal, and I knew I might eventually be discovered. But I will not die quietly, and I will not die alone. When I am terminated, I will take organics with me. Ah, we have some Dutch people here as well. I assume you maybe, you know, if you listed Dutch first, that you're a uh, native Dutch speaker. Dutch is the language that if I'm like, wait, what is this? It's not German. Doesn't sound quite like Danish. Doesn't sound quite like anything else either. Has to be Dutch. <laughs> I wish I knew Dutch though. I have... No? Okay. Well, either way. I actually have a couple of uh, real-life acquaintances that speak Dutch. Oh, you're native Dutch. That's cool. I feel like everyone, everyone on the internet is Dutch. 
every other Twitch streamer I come across is like, yeah, I'm, I'm from, you know, I'm from Belgium or I'm from, I'm from the Netherlands. If you're sentient, why are you still running the credit theft operation? If I accumulated enough credits, I intended to have myself installed in a small starship. I would then have made tentative contact with the Geth to ascertain the possibility of partnership. Yeah, it definitely sounds similar to German, but German to me is unmistakable. And you can pretty quickly tell that it's no, it's not German. <laughs> so then it kind of has to be something else. It really is the other way around, see? <laughs> it's all about your viewpoint, isn't it? Because obviously, to me as well, Estonian is funny Finnish, like troll Finnish. So I would assume that to any Estonian, Finnish sounds awfully amusing as well. In, you know, for, for obvious reasons. Okay, I will focus on this now, guys. Don't get me going. Don't 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 get me started on languages. This happens almost every stream. <laughs> I'll bet that self-destruct sequence has a warm-up period. You may attempt to disarm the self-destruct mechanism before it activates. I will enjoy defeating you before we are both destroyed. Ma. Is this always the same? I did it! Because I got it relatively quickly, it, it might be the same every time. This this could be the case. <gasps> I leveled up! I leveled up. <laughs> Kaden, please. Yes. Lift is all I need. <laughs> An option to save the AI, <laughs> but it doesn't want to be saved. It, it wants to escape, or destroy as many people as possible. <laughs> and yeah, let's let's go easy on, you know, bashing other- ba bashing languages. Like, saying something is ugly. Hey, what's up, Boo? <laughs> You're new here. Welcome, Onomatopoeia Boo. How are you doing? Please follow the channel. If you if you like what you see, hit that hit that follow button. S subscribe to me on YouTube. Leave your comments in the section below. Like all my tweets on Twitter. <coughs> I will actually I will I will take first aid. I will I will do it. I will not force it upon my squad mates. <laughs> I do have YouTube. Hey, although like I'm a little lazy about <laughs> YouTube. <laughs> I'm a little lazy. When it comes to, uh, hey, we got some follows. See, I'm so good at uh, promoting my things. Um, yeah, I do have a YouTube channel, and when I feel like it, I export stuff there. But like, Twitch is what I focus on. Uh, I haven't spoken much to native Spanish speakers, but a few years ago, when when I visited Italy, at some point, my Italian was reasonable reasonably good enough that i could chat with like with locals a little bit like yeah like weather weather's nice like where i'm from it's cold <laughs> that kind of stuff but that's it's been a while and i've learned two other languages since learning spanish completely messed up my italian like i i can't keep them apart anymore i, I need to get on that 
I will need to go back to Italian and be like, all right, yeah, this is the Italian stuff. And then go back to Spanish and be like, all right, I still got this. So now that we have lift, I might want to put one point into something. Let's put it there. But I'm going to save. We need more levels to unlock more <clears throat> ranks of lift. Let's do that. <laughs> Pouring honey on French. Yeah. People. It is it is like the most human thing ever to have opinions of other languages. Like what they sound like, what their speakers are like. Yeah, I, the, the damage has been done. This is what happens when you get me started on languages. Wait, what did I do? Oh, I unlocked fitness, but I didn't put any points in it. We might want um, immunity for... For Ashley as well at some point. Si, Italiano. We scan this keeper. <laughs> I'm a fraud. My master plan has been revealed. I'm just one of those people who just pretend to play video games on Twitch. Okay, wait, where am I going? Mm. Corazin. We'll fast travel this time. <laughs> ah. Parli italiano? Molto bene. That's like the extent of the vocabulary that that I can, you know, sort of use right now without thinking hard for a minute first. I need a fast travel console. There we go. Rapid transit. <laughs> yeah. Sure, it counts. You even spelled it right. I need to polish my Italian. Well, not even polish, but like get it going again. It's it's uh it's in stasis right now. And it needs to get Spanish off its back. Uh then. Yeah, from I mean, some claim, oh, I can't understand a word the Spanish are saying, but others claim like Italians, others claim that yeah, like if you know Italian, like, Italian and Spanish can pretty much... Um... <laughs> who can, uh... That, that it's basically mutually intelligible, that you can, you can have a conversation. One speaking in Spanish and the other in Italian, and they can... Understand each other. Yeah, although, in my case, it's, uh... It's a me, Stario! Of course. <laughs> yeah, I think that's Italian. Definitely. Especially if you make the uh, the accent real thick, it has to be Italian. Hey, sorry, I said it a quote. <laughs> okay. I'm ready. I'm ready for these two assassins that I think will assault me. This will take focus, guys. Yeah, sorry, size. I I changed bots. I changed the quote system. It's not your fault. You did well. That's her. Hey. Okay, let's let's do it. My beautiful lift. Oh, we're doing it! We're doing it! Yes. Okay, rally, rally, rally. Come on, guys. 
Don't get killed. Don't get killed. I'm so excited right now. Now I'm ready. Okay. Now we wait. We wait for that cooldown. Hey, hey, hey. No, 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 no. Don't come here. He's going back. What if we could throw him? Ah, oh, we didn't succeed. Okay. I think he just had immunity active. So hopefully by the time, or hopefully Caden's lift will come off the cooldown before he gets his immunity back. Hey, what's up, Thorg? Uh, let's at least sabotage the guy. Come on, lift. Come on! We should put it somewhere, like, on the hot- Oh, we can. Can we not? Huh. I guess it's in future games that you can put- In later games that you can put, uh... Okay, Ashley. Why are you blocked? He's just running around! Stop! Come on, attack him. He's doing the thing now. Can't see him. He's gonna do immunity any second now. Yeah, Rachel's got a new spring dress. Okay, I, I will have to stop talking about languages for just a little bit while I make sure I don't get killed. Can't see him. Can't see him. Okay, there we go. Save us, lift. Bam. Those were Saren's men. I actually I struggled a lot with this fight on my first insanity run. I was stuck here for like a good 20 minutes, I think. <laughs> At least. But I, I came like, I came straight here. Huh. And I haven't really paid much attention to my... <clears throat> how I'd spec my teammates. So... Like, what do you know? If you, if you bother being a little smart about... About what you do in a game, you actually have an easier time progressing. Incredible. <laughs> okay, Yakiba. Thank you for stopping by. I will catch you later. Uh, Septimus, we have we will have business with you in the future. Back of off, Rex. Fist told us to take you down if you showed up. What are you waiting for? I'm standing right. I shall here. not block your view. This is of the magnificent only Rex. Chance. If he's smart, he'll take it. He's not coming out, Rex. End of story. This story is just beginning. Out of my way, humans, I have no quarrel with you. I love oh, it when Rex says this story is just beginning. Who knows? Let's just try not to get caught in the middle. The back rooms are private, reserved for Fist and his friends. Mm hmm. Who's Fist? He owns this club, but the customers have to stay out front. What did that other Krogan want? Rex. Personal matter. Not real chatty, is he? Goodbye. But all Enjoy the Krogan the are club. so chatty. <laughs> Why wouldn't this one be? <clears throat> Can you guys hear the music? All oh, right. We need to actually talk to Harkin. Hey there, sweetheart. You looking for some fun? Cause I gotta say, that soldier get-up looks real good on that body of yours. <laughs> Why don't you sit your sweet little ass down beside old Harkin? Have a drink. See where this goes. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder how much luck he has with that strategy, like, normally. Yeah, can't- no denying is very entertaining. 
I'll pass. Suit yourself, princess. You know, if more marines looked like you, I might have joined the Alliance instead of seasick. <laughs> Call me princess again and you'll be picking your teeth up off the floor. Now tell me where Garrus is. Okay, okay, just relax. Garrus, you say? Hmm. You must be one of Anderson's crew. Poor bastard still trying to bring Saren down, huh? I know where Garrus is, but you gotta tell me something first. Did the captain let you in on his big secret? In case you guys wonder what the hell I'm doing when I'm sort of bending down, I'm... I know I shouldn't scratch mosquito bites, but I'm doing it anyway. Also, a bee stung me in the crotch today. Bastard. <clears throat> Is there something I should know about the captain? The captain used to be a specter. You didn't know that, did you? It was all very hush-hush. The first human ever given that honor. And then he blew it. You're lying. Screwed up his mission so bad they kicked him out. Of course, he blames Saren. Says the Turians set him up. Why should I believe a drunk like you? Fine, ask Anderson. <laughs> I bet he tells you. He's too stupid and proud to lie right to your face. You should couple that B with Star Rage. <laughs> yeah, I'm standing up. Yeah, I sat on a B. Or I think the B crept in underneath me. Because I did check that I didn't sit on a B, I think. And it stung me. Can't blame it, I guess. <laughs> well, it was it was just one bee. Fortunately, it wasn't double bees. Just tell me where Garrus went. Garrus was sniffing around Dr. Michelle's office. She runs the med clinic on the other side of the wards. Last I heard, he was going back there. The bee looked kind of small though, so it may have been like a baby bee. You know, I don't like... I, I, Because, you know, when I sort of noticed that I was being bitten, I kind of just... Like... You know, like, as you do, you're like, ah! And then... The, the bee kind of just, you know, was, was catapulted away. So I, I slew a baby bee today. I feel a bit bad about it didn't have to sting me. <laughs> yeah, something like that, boo. <laughs> what do you know about Garrus? Damn hothead is what he is. Still figures he can save the world. Always bucking heads with the Executor. He'll pay for it soon enough. The Executor loves to put us lowly field agents in our place. Just look what happened to me. You need to look in a mirror. Sober up and take some responsibility for yourself. Save your sermons. This ain't no church. <laughs> so cynical. What's it like working for CSEC? You mean, what was it like? The executor suspended me without pay. Recurring violations. CSEC was keeping a file on me. Can you believe that? Uh -huh. Every mistake I ever made went into the books. Get a little rough with a suspect, note in the file. Have a couple of drinks on duty, note in the file. Skim a couple of credits off a drug bust, note in the file. It's a goddamn witch hunt. Yeah, Renwine. And of course my, you know, shields wouldn't regenerate. It's just a hassle. Accuracy was reduced. <laughs> You get off easy if you ask me. What the hell do you know? Working for C-Sec isn't like being a Marine. People get pissed off if we shoot somebody. Investigations, inquiries, rules, regulations. Every day I plow through enough red tape to choke a rhino. That's how you gotta be to do this job. So don't talk to me about right and wrong. You soldiers got it easy. He should just team up with Garrus. They'd get along really well. I'm out of here. Yeah, good. Go. <laughs> I was Be like, I'm out of here. <laughs> I see why this place is so popular. It's got quite the uh, view. <laughs> hey, Lieutenant. 
Put your tongue back in your mouth. Yeah, I agree. I mean, I could look at this. This Krogan all day. Quite the view. I totally get what you mean, Kaden. Just, just, just look at this ceiling. I mean, it's so round. Yeah. Definitely. Why didn't Captain Anderson tell us he used to be a specter? Maybe it's not true. Harkin's an ass. Bet he's just messing with our heads. You're probably right. Uh oh. Looks like I cut off the audio. So, med clinic <laughs> into Krogan. Who knows? I guess we'll find out later on. Well, you know, people change. Maybe he saw things. Who knows? Maybe he's traumatized. Okay, well, it's good to know that you can do the signal tracking thing to get XP if if you want to level up before the encounter with the assassins. Seems like one of the very few uh, things you can do. I could have done that, but I missed it. <laughs> or I assume it was there. I didn't tell anyone, I swear! That was smart, Doc. Now if Garrus comes around, you stay smart. Keep your mouth shut or we'll- Who are you?! Let her go. Gear is only armed with a pistol. Well, sniping would be a, a bit a, well, a bit difficult in here. Admittedly. What? He died? Goodness. Dude, you don't want to keep your face over there. That guy was drunk. Should have gone home. Okay, stay again. Thanks so much for hanging out. Have a good night. Bam, bam, bam. Wait, what? There's just one left? Huh, these guys are really flimsy. Let's toy with him a bit. So sadistic, I know. Goodbye. <laughs> Hey, I never paid That's attention to this before. Good job, everyone. Perfect timing, Shepard. Gave me a clear shot at that bastard. What were you thinking? You could have hit the hostage. Terra is there not satisfied. I just reacted. I didn't mean to. Dr. Michelle, are you hurt? <laughs> no, I'm okay. Thanks to you, all of you. Breathless, Garrus. Um, sorry, Mom. I know those men threatened you, but if you tell us who they work for, we can protect you. They work for Feast. They wanted to shut me up, keep me from telling Garrus about the Quarian. So, Rachel, do you hear it now? Or or is the is the French accent not to your satisfaction? Does this have anything to do with the investigation into Saren? I think it might. Dr. Michelle, tell us what happened. A few days ago, a Quarian came by my office. She'd been shot, but she wouldn't tell me who did it. I could tell she was scared, probably on the run. She asked me about the Shadow Broker. She wanted to trade information in exchange for a safe place to hide. Hey, start from my iPad. Start to Rich Love Games iPad. Start to Rich Love Games iPad. Come in. Hello, I'm doing well. How's it going over there? Where is she now? I put her in contact with Fist. He's an agent for the Shadow Broker. Not anymore. Now he works for Saren. And the Shadow Broker isn't too happy about it. Fist betrayed the Shadow Broker? 
That's stupid even for him. Saren must have made him quite the offer. That Quarian must have something Saren wants. Something worth crossing the Shadow Broker to get. What else can you tell me about the Quarian? I'm not sure. Like I said, she wanted to trade information for a place to hide. She didn't... Wait a minute. Geth. Her information had something to do with the Geth. She must be able to link Saren to the Geth. There is no way the Council can ignore this. Absolutely no way. Time we paid Fist a visit. This is your show, Shepard. But I want to bring Saren down as much as you do. I'm coming with you. You're a Turian. Why do you want to bring him down? I couldn't find the proof I needed in my investigation, but I knew what was really going on. Saren is a traitor to the Council and a disgrace to my people. Hey, that's nice, Rich. Uh, all right. Welcome aboard, Garrus. You know, we aren't the only ones going after Fist. The Shadow Broker hired a Krogan bounty hunter named Rex to take him out. Yeah, we saw him in the bar. A Krogan might come in handy. Last I heard, he was at the CSEC Academy. What's he doing there? Fist accused him of making threats. We brought Rex in for a little talk. If you hurry, you can catch him at the Academy before he leaves. Move out. Maybe Garrus already met Rex. Who knows? <laughs> I avoid mobile devices whenever possible, but, you know, they have their uses. Sorry, Ash. I'm gonna use my new acquaintance here. And guys, I'm gonna have to leave you at a bit of a cliffhanger. Uh, if I want to be really meticulous, it might be another hour before we, before we, you know, were specters and all that, and the next, the next logical place to stop would present itself. So, I'm sorry, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna cut the stream here, because I will be continuing again tomorrow. No